All right, so it is March 23rd, 2021. Today is day 14, uh, the fourth week, uh, class of Intermediate 3 from 8 to 9 p.m. There are only two more classes left. So today is uh, one of the, the last classes of the course. Um, today we're going to be looking at past models, um, practicing and reviewing the units before we do the midterm tomorrow. So today is uh, the day before the midterm. We're going to review, make sure everything is clear from the platform, and then hopefully we'll get everything started. Yesterday, um, there was an issue with the reading. Let's see if that's fixed. Ah, okay. So we need to make sure that it's reported. Mm -hmm. Let me report it.
Hey, hey, Jose, you are the first one here. All right, so Jose, how was your day? Uh, fine, fine, it's a normal day, right? And oh. what about you, teacher? How are you doing? Pretty good, a pretty good day. Uh, pretty busy, a lot of activities, many movements and uh, many, a couple of meetings, not many meetings, but a couple of meetings and phone calls. It's Say again, Jose? You have stayed busy. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Today's been a, a pretty pretty productive day, which is good. It's always good uh, when when the day is... Mm -hmm. That way you feel that you do a lot of things. There are some days that uh, are not so productive and, you know, eh, it's okay. There are good days, bad days, days where there's a lot of activities and a lot of work and the other days that ah, you know, watch TV all day. Mm -hmm. So Jose, how, what are your plans? What are you going to do? What do you mean teacher in the week these no. days? No, no, your plan to to get a job to to find a to find a work. Basically, teacher just get a job, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's first. Okay. Are you are are, are you still applying to new places, or or uh, you're you're waiting for them to call you, or or what? Repeat, repeat. Um, How do you eat? No problem. Uh, I said, are you are you applying to new to new places, or are you waiting for uh, the places to call you, or or what? Uh, uh, right now, I am looking for a new places, right? And of course, I am waiting for the the old places, right? Okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. That's a. You know that you can't wait for if you apply and they don't call you you can't wait you have to continue looking for other places and applying and looking for other possibilities yes teacher yes teacher mm -hmm. that is the thing yeah 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 but only now well not now but in in, in salvador in general is many times it's, it's pretty hard to find a job right it's uh yes teacher. yes teacher here here in the salvador nowadays it's difficult more for the young people, right? I think so. I think that, I think when you are young, is probably the most difficult time to to find a job. And then when you are old, in El Salvador, they like people to be, you know, between 25 and 35, and that's it. If you are more than 35, it's difficult. If you are less than 25, it's difficult. Only yes. 10. Yes. <laughs> Only 10 years you have to work and then, poof, then it's too bad. Mm -hmm. Marce, how are you doing? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Marce. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. So tell me what happened today, Marcia? Um, today, I'm, I'm happy because I ate watermelon and I love it. 
That's great. And do you eat watermelon um, with with salt or or anything or just a watermelon? We uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. I like it. I like it. A little bit of salt when they have it. They prepare it for you uh, in the same places where you can buy mangoes or uh, cucumbers or those other fruits. You can get it. Yes, with papaya or, or for example, pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like awesome. A, like a tutti, like a fruity is good. <laughs> there you go. So watermelon is your favorite, yes. your favorite fruit, Marcela. Yes, it is my favorite fruit. Okay, all right. And for you, Jose? What about you? Oh, for, for me, I, I like um, probably Jocote Coronas. Those are my favorite. And for you, Jose? Uh, you're talking about what is the food, right? The fruit, yeah. Ah, fruit, fruit. Uh, the grapes. Grapes. The, the, the red ones or the green ones? Grapes. Yeah, the red or the green? The, no, grapes. With grapes. Right. Purple. Purple. The, purple. Uh -huh. Grape. Right. There grapes. Is... Yeah, purple. Purple grapes. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, because there's also the green ones. Yeah, yeah, but to me, teacher, how mm. it is, is in this context, to me or for me? For me? Uh, for me, it's strange. It's the green grapes. Okay. But I I saw. Okay. I almost, that, and you know, in, in, in my case, I almost always eat only the green ones because they don't have seeds. And I, I like that you can eat them without any seeds. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. The purple mm. grapes are a lot of seeds. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh -huh. I, only, I only eat grapes for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> and in Christmas, I don't eat. That's when I don't eat grapes, is during Christmas. Yeah. Uh -huh. The apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I think, I, I don't know. I, I like, like uh, the street vendors uh, where you go and they prepare your mango and things. In, in the US, they prepare mango, but a little bit different. And I think it's, it's similar, but it's pretty cool because they prepare it like Mexicans because there's a lot of Mexicans in the US. So they take the mango and they have a stick and they put the mango on the stick and then they cut it like a flower. And then on top of the flower, they put the salt, they put the, the, the hot sauce and, and everything else that they're going to put on top of the mango. And you walk with a stick. Right. Yeah, and like you know, in the, in the beaches here, yeah, 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 similar to like in the beaches. And I think they do it in the beaches because the tourists uh, see this in other countries and they like they they prefer this. Then mm, the bags is the bags are not so presentable for tourists or not so presentable for when you buy uh street food. But in the Americans, when you buy f food in the street, it's very common that you have a stick. And this is normal for them. So that's probably why they do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they do. It's a, it's a good way. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind not of, common here. No, but. no, no. But I, I like it. I like the way that it looks, the, the design, because they make it like a little flower. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's kind of like the corn, right? When, when you buy the corn, with um, with mayonnaise and cheese, they have the stick, and they put the corn on the stick. Well, they do the same thing for the mangoes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the same. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit different, but but it's pretty good because there, you know, you buy a mango and you receive a mango, and he, and here sometimes you buy you buy the bag. But you don't know if really you receive a mango. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. It's, you don't know sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. 
And all right, so I see we we are only two of you, right? <laughs> only Jose and you, Marcel. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> it happens. We only have two more days. Um, so the idea for today is to make sure to review um, the entire platform. So that way, when you have your exam or in case you have any questions, any parts that you are confused in, we can go ahead and talk about them and make sure that it's clear. So first, let's begin with your questions. Do you have any, any sections of the platform or anything that is not clear? Yeah, in my case, uh, I have a problem with the platform. In the last exercise about the final test, Okay, let me show it. Let's see if we can solve it. I think I know what you're going to talk about, about the reading, if I'm, if I am correct. Let me, let's see. Yeah, it, it's a reading. Right? Here, let me make sure, let me share my screen. And then you tell me if this is the right one. Okay. Is this part right? The reading? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I reported this uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I reported this situation yesterday to the administrator. And uh, even today, I today I before the class I checked and it says that the, the file is not there. So I reported it again. Um, I hope they fix by tomorrow, but if they don't fix by tomorrow, we have a solution. If they don't fix by tomorrow, I'm going to request from someone else uh, what is the reading and we can do together. I can read it to you or we'll, we'll find a way to do it here in the classroom together. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for... because this, is so, this exercise I, I haven't done. Okay. Oh, wow. So that's great. That's great, Marcia. This is the that is the last exercise you're missing. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's that. And for the other parts of the, the platform, no questions, right? No. Okay. Always good. Hey, <laughs> everything else is 80 or more. Yeah. The, the, the grades? Yes. The, yeah, good grades in the other ones, huh? All right. Yeah. Great. Jose, what about you? Do you have any uh, questions, any issues? Uh, uh, this teacher uh, just need to finish uh, the certain parts to me and write the passive voice. That thing I never did before, the beginning of the, of the model. Of the major, like I forgot idea the other, the other section, like okay. Simply, I just need to finish the parts, and you need to love, like not just A, B, or two or four, like the more difficult thing, but you to love. Okay, so just that uh, all you need to do is is finish the last parts and. Uh, so most of it is you don't have any questions. It's just about doing the work, then Jose. Uh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's great. That that makes things a little bit easier, and make sure everything is smooth. Um, so that that's great. So what we're gonna do then, in that case, we'll take a moment and we'll go through a little bit of uh, practicing, and we're gonna do some conversations to make sure it's clear. Um, we'll use the two of you. We won't have to go to the little rooms because you know, there's only you guys. So that's that's the good part. So mm -hmm. let me take a look here. Let me put up the different videos. All right. I'm just looking at the different videos and which ones we should we need to take a look at so that we can practice um, in part one for the pronunciation. Um, I think most of those words were okay. 
Um, maybe we just need to practice a few conversations. I'm going to share my screen. I hope you it's big enough because it seems a little small, um, the conversation there. Mm, let me see if I can maybe make it a little bit bigger. Can you see that or no? It's I, I think it's a little small, but is it possible for you to read? I I can I can read. You can? How about you, Jose? Can you read it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, mister. That's okay. Okay. Hey, there's Selvin. All right. How are you? Good, Selvin. And you? Fine, fine. Okay. Selvin, you're going to be John, and Marcy, you're going to be Kelly. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Wait. Hello? Oh, no. Marcy. You Hi. Start. <laughs> okay. Hello? Um, <laughs> oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the Europa? European, I'm sorry. Europe, European? Give me a few minutes, mister. Okay, Selvin, all right, no problem. A few minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, Selvin. All right. Hey, maybe we can practice with Jose. Jose, can can you read it? Uh, yes, teacher, I am here. Okay, so then you and Marcel, go ahead. You start again, Marcel. Start at the beginning. Okay, hello. Oh, hello. I need some information what currency is used in the European Union. Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. All right, and English is spoken much there. I really have no idea. Oh, uh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have had the wrong number. Okay, pretty good. Teacher, okay. how to pronounce union? That's right, union. Ah, sorry. <laughs> That's how you pronounce I it. I was thinking I was wrong. <laughs> That's right, European Union. That's the right way. Okay, so from there, just making sure, are there any words you don't know? Currency teacher is similar to currency, but... No, currency is, for example, the money, dollars, pesos, colones. This is the currency. Ah, uh, another way hey. to say mm -hmm. uh, money. Yeah. Okay. Any other words? No, teacher. No. All right, pretty good. Okay. Let's see. I think we got, yep, we still only three. All right. So let's continue. Let's see. I, I don't remember if there was a conversation in this one, but we're going to. Active. Amen. Okay. People present. For... All right. Just a quick review. Oh, we have the passives uh, without by and the passives with by. Let's review. Do you remember what is the passive and how, why we use it? When it's the more important 
uh, the information and not the subject. Okay. I think. Okay, that's a good way. That's a, that's a pretty good way, Marcia. Yeah, it's the, when the subject is not important. Really, what's more important is, you're right, the information or more important, the object, right? So instead of talking about a people, for example, they, he, she, uh, we, instead of talking about the people that do the actions, we start in, with the object, okay? And in here, for example, the euro or English, a lot of cars, the food, the restaurant, whatever it is, you start with the object. And then what is one thing that we always have to use in the passive is the verb to be. The verb to be is the one that's going to tell us the time, if it's in present, if it's in past or in the future, okay? So here in the examples we have the euro is used in most of the EU. So that is the present. How do we know? Because the verb to be is in present. But if we notice the other verb is always in past participle. And like Marcia said, the function or the purpose of the passive is always to talk about the object and the action, okay? Not about the person. The person is not that important. What is important is the object and what happened to the object. Only the object, teacher. Yeah, the object is the most important, Sylvie. So when we the have object or the oh, everything, the thing, everything, the the person talk about about it. Right. So the things that they talk about it, not not, not the things that the person does. Okay. okay. So. Um, if you go out with your girlfriend or your wife and you go to the beach and you say, ah, oh, yeah, we have a good time, right? And I say, hey, why, what happened? Ah, uh, here's where you use the passive. You talk about the object, the, the water, the beach, the sky, the, the sun was beautiful, uh, um, or the, the entertainment, the, the restaurant, the food, whatever it is, that's what you're talking about. That's why you use the passive. So the passive is not because it's not important that uh, it's in, it's not important to the person that did the action. It's important the action that happened, and what it and it's important to what it happened. Did it happen to the food? Did it happen to the class? Did it happen to the restaurant? That is the important is the object and the action that happened. Okay. okay. Marcia Jose, it's okay. Yes. All right, perfect. So that is our ideas for the um, section one. So as I mentioned, uh, today the idea is we're just going to be reviewing the different sections uh, and make sure that everything is clear so that way you don't have any problems or when you go to the next level you say, ah, oh, I didn't practice this enough or I didn't have the opportunity to remember this situation, okay? Then here we have a little bit of the past continuous and the simple past. That was interrupted by another event or action. And, uh, Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. Remember to stay during the experiment. Okay, so uh, the idea is we have two actions, right? We have the simple past and the past continuous. And what's the big difference? Well, if we remember, the past continuous is really the thing that you didn't finish, is the thing that wasn't completed. And it wasn't completed, it's, it's all, it's, well, it, it is always the first thing that you started doing, okay? So I started watching TV, but I didn't finish. Why? Because I fell asleep, uh, because the phone rang, because um, my the electricity went out, whatever it is. But you're going to have the first action or the action that you didn't complete is always going to be with the ING. So I was watching TV or I, I was uh, reading a book or whatever you want. 
And then you can use other words like uh, but, when, then, uh, all of these connectors. But the second part is the simple past. The simple past is the action that interrupted you or when you use only the simple past, the simple past is the action that is completed in the past. The past continuous is the action that is not completed, okay? So as an example, um, let's say this morning, okay? This morning, did you take a shower? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and you finished, right? Yes. So that's when we use, I took a shower. I took because the action is completed. We don't have to do it again, right? Now, that's simple past. That's simple past, correct, Jose. That's so, simple past. So, a few minutes ago, I was taking present continuity. I was now taking the continuity. Correct. So, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so, a few minutes ago, um, like before, before the class, uh, before you entered the class, what were you doing? Oh, I was watching a movie. I well, um, Now, what is the difference? So here, uh, I'll put it into the, the chat so we can make sure that we understand clearly. Okay. So when we say I was watching a movie, okay, uh, the idea is um, I did not finish the movie before the class, okay? So I was watching a movie means you did not finish the movie. But if you say, hey, what did you do today? Oh, and you say, I watched the simple past. I watched a movie. The meaning is different. The meaning is I finished, okay, the movie. And that's the same way that we use the, the continuous forms. The continuous forms are always with the verb to be, was or were, and then their ing's. Okay, so I don't know if you have any questions. Any questions about that? No, teacher. No, teacher. Just like I was one Normally, I just, uh, I just, I just say, I was, I was, in, 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 in my mind, I finished that, because it was, but now I see that that was wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and you see, the thing is that grammatically, it's correct. You can say, I was, I was, in ing, but it's not the meaning that you want to say, because when you say, I was, the person that listens, ah, Jose didn't finish, okay? Or Jose say, hey, Jose, what did you do today? Ah, I was applying for a job. Ah, I listened, you didn't finish applying. You see that? So the, you, it's correct to use, but the meaning is you didn't complete. <laughs> Correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. If you use present continuous, it's not completed. If you complete, then you, you use the past tense. That, and that's when, when they do the interviews and they do the grammar and they say, hey, you need to improve your grammar or your things. It's these little things that make the difference because they, they say, you, are, you say, hey, but I say correctly, I answered. Yes you answer but it's not the meaning because if you say oh i was studying in the school but now you're not studying you finish so the person that listening uh this one makes a mistake with the grammar for example okay laura good 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 to say laura any questions no mister no, oh. everything's okay. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. Hey, Laura, is your cousin Ariana? Uh, of course. There you <laughs> she go. got that talent from me, but don't tell her. I won't. I won't tell her. <laughs> 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 I Mr. never. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I um entered late, but I had an emergency. No problem. No problem, Laura. Don't worry. 
and I'm glad you're here. It's okay. The important is we're, we're just reviewing and we want to make sure that sometimes we, we study and we learn and we have the idea, but is not completely clear. So we yes. want to make, we, we are just reviewing to make sure everything is clear. Okay, mister. Okay. All right. So in our next part is we have some vocabulary and our vocabulary. Hang on. Let me see what we have here. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we have some vocabulary that says um, word power, right? We have a lot of these words, L-Y. Why do we use L-Y? Um, in case we don't remember, the L-Y is because it affects the verb. It answers the question, how? Okay. So I say, Laura cooks dinner. How does the Laura cook dinner? Or how is the dinner? Oh, when you want to answer how she does something, then we put most of the time, not always, but very commonly to use the L-Y, deliciously. So she cooks dinner deliciously, or she cooks the, uh, dinner uh, slowly or carefully, okay? Now, sometimes, as I say, we don't use L-Y. For example, she cooks dinner with love. Ah, okay, but we're not going to say lovely, right? It's not the same meaning. So here we have a few words. I'm going to pronounce them just to make sure that the pronunciation is clear. And you tell me if there are any words that you don't know or you're not sure, okay? We have coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, uh, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Are all of those words okay? Again, mister. Again. Okay, okay, Selvin, no problem, no, no problem. Okay, coincidentally, coincidentally, fortunately, fortunately, luckily, luckily, miraculously, miraculously, sadly, Sadly, strangely, strangely, suddenly, suddenly, surprisingly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unexpectedly, and unfortunately, unfortunately. Do you understand the meaning of all of those words? Uh, let me see. Mm. Just suddenly. Un coincidentally. Coincidentally means similar yes, like. I know, I know the student is like, that's the only. Uh, sorry, Jose, which, which word? Suddenly. I Sudden, the only one, and strangely. Okay. Strangely and suddenly. Okay. So strange. Yes. So the meaning of strangely is that something that is not common, something that is un weird or unusual. That is strangely. Do you remember the um, maybe three days ago, uh, there was a surfer. Uh, in La Libertad, who was killed? Uh, yeah, she's killed with, because of thunder or either something that's, like that. That's she right. That, like in the picture. That was str strangely. strangely. The, exactly. Are, she died. She died. How? How did she die? Ah, she died strangely because it's not normal. It's, it's very, it's very thunder. strange. Uh huh. With with a with a lightning, right? The lightning hit her, and that's very that strangely. Is, that's is strangely. Yes, I I'm going to see that in mil forma de morirse. That's Unexpectedly. right. Yeah. Unexpectedly, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now, oh. suddenly, suddenly, 
is with without the planning. Sign. Sorry? The sign. The sign. The sign. The sign. Una ah, okay. I, I, I didn't know the song. Okay. All right. So, yeah. No, Suddenly is unexpectedly. Is without without warning, without planning. Is like quickly, right? So, sometimes maybe in a fight. In the fight, the person is very calm and relaxed and suddenly, boom, they hit. Or they punch someone. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other words? Okay. All right. That was 2.4. All right. Here in 2.6, let me... Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. What about you? Okay. Here is just using it. All right. So we have Pete and Gina. Laura, can you be Pete? Selvin, can you? Sorry, Laura, can you be Gina? <laughs> and and Selvin, can you be Pete? Okay. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me. I have to go and get my. Are you glasses. ready, Laura? <laughs> ah. No, I'm not. <laughs> you see, you see, Laura. Wait, wait, wait. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> You're ready, Laura. No, she went she went to get her, her glasses. My glasses, my glasses. Mm -hmm. I have them it with me. Okay. Totally for Laura. <laughs> no, no, no. I have I have my glasses right now. Okay. Let's okay. start. Uh -huh. So I'm I'm Gina, right? Yes. Bye. Hey Gina. Ha I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Oh, come. I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Mor 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 Morocco. Well, Morocco, yeah. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I have only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. i almost out of money. Can you give me a little money? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, perfect. So as we can see, here's where they're using many of the adverbs, right? There are many of the things that we're looking at for ING as well, like lately and things like that. Are there any words that you don't know or are not sure of? Morocco is a country. That's correct, in Europe mm -hmm. or North Africa, actually, I believe. Pursing. Uh, pursuing. Pursuing. Right? Pursuing. Yes. It says, uh, I'm pursuing a full time modeling career, right, Marcia? Yes. Okay. So that means when you say I'm pursuing, it means that I am trying to do this. I am uh, putting an effort. So, for example, if I say I am pursuing a uh, a medical career, I am pursuing a, a teaching degree. It means I am I am in the process. I am looking, I am studying or I am doing this. And here, when he says I am pursuing a full-time modeling career, he is trying to become a full-time model. Oh like, like uh, learning or making experience. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pursuing is that not necessarily uh, learning, but that you are uh, making the effort to do or you are trying to accomplish this goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words?
Okay. All right. I guess not. Everybody's pretty quiet. Pretty good. All right. That's 2.6. But we're moving right along. Perfect. And then we have the present perfect continuous. Ah, here is we have, we use it for a couple of things. And if we remember a few minutes ago, we talked about the present continuous. The present continuous means that your the action is incomplete, right? So the same idea for the present perfect continuous. The idea is that the action is incomplete, but you are still doing it. You are continuing to do it, okay? So as an example, there we have, we have been working together since last year. So we are not finished working together. We started last year and we continue today to still work together. Or in the second example, I have been painting this house for two years. I started two years ago, I'm oh, sorry, two hours ago, or two hours. I started two hours ago and I continue to paint even now, two hours later. So the present perfect continuous, the focus is that the action started in the past, but continues onto the present, okay? Not necessarily that it uh, you didn't finish like the present continuous. The present continuous is um, a little bit different because it doesn't have to do that you start in the past, only that it's happening now. Is that okay? Or do you want to see some more examples? Uh, All right, let's take a look here. We should have a couple examples for us. Can you now? All right, let's see what they give us. Okay, so here's a couple of the things, okay. So as I mentioned, the, the main one, the first one is, is that it started in the past and continues into the present, okay. So the other is that is focusing how long the activity lasted and the activity itself. Um, we should have a few examples of it, okay, such as here. Um, we can see three example. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. It means he started waiting an, more than an hour ago. And even now he continues to wait, right? I've been studying since three o'clock. That means that you started at three o'clock and even now you are still studying, okay? How long have you been studying French, okay? So when did you study, when did you start studying in the past? Because I know that in this moment, you continue to study French. Okay. Okay. Teacher, each person has, only has. Uh, the, there are two, there's have, uh, I have, you have, we have, and he, she, it, has. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for he, she, and it, yes, we have the third person and we use has. Okay. We are, uh, has plus being plus, plus ing. Verb, plus ing. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have in the power. He, it. So you can see there is, it tells you specifically which one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? So, yeah. so the difference between the present perfect continuous and the uh, present continuous is, for example, in the second one, he has been fading his house for two hours. If I say he is fading, uh, I don't know when he is start, started to fading. Correct. So if you say he, so, if you say he was could, painting his house, so could be, for example, uh, five days ago or I mean, before. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's that's right, Marcel. 
that's one example okay. and you're right but the the main idea is that when you use the present perfect continuous is because the action continues now and the continuous the present continuous it doesn't have to be um that it it doesn't have to be that you started before. It doesn't have to have an emphasis. So for example, right now, I am teaching English, okay? Is different than I, is different than, because that's the action I am doing now. But if I say I have been teaching English, normally is you put in, for example, I have been teaching English for more than 10 years or for the time, or for example, for you, you are studying English right now but it's not the same. I have been studying English since last year. Mm, yeah, because you, if you say, I, I have been studying, I have been teaching English, mm -hmm. it's not necessary that you are connected right now. Correct. That is the difference. It's not that, oh, I, yeah. it's not that I have to be doing it right now. So, for example, I have been, yeah. mm -hmm, I, I have been working for English Corporate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Anybody? Good. good. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay. Great. Let's go on to our part three. Okay. All right. So in part three, let's have, um, we should have a small conversation. Nice to have you back with us. So listen and practice. All right. There. Uh, let's see. Jose, can you be Roger? Marcela, can you be Carol? Okay. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe. What playing? How about the new games from Sun? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie Jason? It's a new novel. I don't know. It's what are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halliburton movie. It was good. That's fine. This makes this a wonderful life. Okay, all right, pretty good. Right, and the name, the pronunciation, the name, Stephen King. Like the PH is like an F. Stephen King. Stephen. Yep. Stephen. Mm -hmm. All right, so are there any words in this conversation that you don't know? No? Okay. It's okay for everyone? Yes. Next. All right. All right. There we go. Perfect. So in the next part is the difference between ing and ed in adjectives. This one sometimes gets a little confusing, I know, because it's, it's a common uh, common issue and I'll, I'll explain a little bit the idea is hang on let me put so we can get a couple welcome of there. in this section we'll study participles okay so the idea is when we use ing okay is we're talking about the thing okay the object so the movie, the book, the cat, the beach, the thing, the object is ing. That's the ing, always. It is exciting, amazing, entertaining, 
uh, fascinating, whatever you want, but it's with ing. When you talk about yourself, okay, when you talk about the emotions of the person, it is ed. So uh, he is excited, okay? Uh, he is amazed. He is entertained. He is fascinated. It's always with ed. The ing is to talk about what made him excited, what made him fascinated, what made him entertained. Ah, so the movie was exciting. That is the thing. And what did it do? It made him excited, right? Ah, the, the book was fascinating. And how did he feel? He felt he was fascinated, okay? So when we look at present and past participles, the main idea that we need to remember is that when we talk about the emotions or a person is ED. When we talk about an object or the things is ING. Um, are there any questions about that? No? Everything is okay. Okay. We're good, mister. We're good. Excellent, excellent. So when you say, oh, for example, oh, the class is um, interesting, the class is boring, the class is amazing, the class is whatever you want. Whenever you talk about the thing, is ing. Whenever you talk about you, oh, I was bored, I was entertained, I was amazed, I was fascinated, I was, whatever you talk about, your emotions is going to be with ed. Okay, mister. Okay. Good. Good. Now, uh, Laura, I know you came in a little bit late and Selvin too. I just wanted to let you know that I did report the problem uh, for the exam, the, the last part where you can't read it, um, just in case you haven't done it. Um, I know Laura has, I just remembered that she completed. Um, she just probably just guessed it, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll solve it. If not, I'll give a solution for tomorrow, okay? Okay, mister. All right, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great night. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we're gonna do, we're gonna review the exam and that's it. Only two more classes, that's it. So have a great night. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah, imagine. Yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night, Mr. Bye-bye.